I was in sophomore year when my boyfriend and I got together. Anyone could tell he was out of my league. Everyone in our school knew him, and a bunch of girls would gather at the gates just to get a glimpse of him. Meanwhile, I was an average student. I made good grades, but I wasn't near the top 10. I was cute, but not gorgeous. But for some reason, he still chose me. I never doubted his loyalty. And the first two months that we started to see each other were amazing. It was like all the romance movies I'd seen, except 10 times better. All my friends said we were just in the honeymoon phase, but I didn't listen. I thought it lasts forever. But then he started to act strange. We used to walk home together all the time, but nowadays he would always stay after school. He used to always tell me about his day and what he did, but now he never told me anything. His phone's password used to be my birthday, but I realized he changed it whenever I tried opening it. No one would tell me anything when I asked, and it started to drive me crazy. He was definitely hiding something. I was sure of it. Whenever he started to avoid me in the hallways and ignoring my calls, I knew our relationship would probably be over soon. In the end, I stopped reaching out to him altogether and dreaded the day he would tell me, we need to talk. One day, I stayed at the school for a student council meeting. I joined because he used to be student president, but he dropped out right after I started. The plan was to decorate the gym for the school's upcoming dance. Another girl and I stayed longer than the rest of the members since we didn't have anything else going on for the rest of the evening. The girl's name was Harmony. She's someone I'd seen around school a couple of times, but never really interacted with. I don't know if it was because we were the only ones in the gym, or if I kept it bottled up for too long, but I started to confide in this girl about all the issues my boyfriend and I had been having. After listening, she said the only valid answer to the weird things he'd been doing was that he was obviously cheating. I was stunned. It hit me all at once. The thought stayed on my mind for however long I was decorating with Harmony. Now all his weird actions were making sense. Harmony left before I did. By now it was already 8 o'clock and the sun had already set. Once I left, I was greeted by my boyfriend waiting at the school gates. I tried walking faster to avoid him, but he grabbed my hand and said he was going to walk me home. The walk was awkward and silent. Whenever I looked at him, all I could imagine was him with someone else. He seemed to notice I wasn't acting like myself, and asked me what was wrong. Even though I tried hard not to admit it, I lashed out at him and accused him of cheating. All I could tell was his face seemed really shocked, and he tried to convince me I just misunderstood what was really happening. That's when I heard rustling in the trees behind us. I wasn't freaked out, because I thought it was probably a raccoon or something, but that was the most panicked I'd ever seen him. We took off running immediately, I didn't know what he saw that could have made him so scared, but I didn't want to find out. We eventually stopped running after getting tired, and we decided to hide. There was a playground that I remembered was near my house. It was a little creepy at nighttime, but of course that wasn't what I was focused on. At this point I was freaking out, and asking why we ran off. So he finally decided to come clean, and admitted why he'd been acting so strange. According to him, a stalker had been threatening to kill me if we kept seeing each other. At first he thought they just had a weird crush on him, but then he started to find animal hearts on his doorstep. Those times he stayed after school, he was trying to trace the letters back to the sender. The only lead was that they were in student council, but right now he was sure they were following us. My heart sank as he told me the story, but before I could respond, he put his hand over my mouth, and we heard the sound of someone crawling up the slide. We both looked at each other, then jumped down and sprinted back towards my house. We knew we wouldn't make it spring the whole way, since my house was still pretty far away. So we hid behind a tree to try and escape the person following us. Once they ran up, I put my foot out and they tripped. My boyfriend grabbed them, and then I pushed back their hoodie. The person that was chasing us was Harmony. Her face was bruised, and I could tell she was just as out of breath as we were. Harmony gripped onto my shoulders and told me I needed to run as far away as possible. Your boyfriend isn't a cheater. He's a murderer. I looked back at my boyfriend's expressionless face. He told me to go home and that he'd take care of her. When Harmony and I made eye contact, there was a pleading look in her eyes. It was almost as if she was begging me not to leave. 
but I just couldn't stay. Not after she stalked him and threatened to hurt me. So I went home. The next day, I noticed that Harmony wasn't at the student council meeting. However, things seemed to be going back to normal between my boyfriend and I. He invited me over to show me all the hearts that Harmony had sent him as threats. Whenever I looked at the hearts inside the boxes, I knew right away. They weren't animal hearts. They were human hearts. <laughs>